this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is Dish Channel Guns coming to another gun video. Appreciate you watching, like, sharing, and subscribe. So I want to appreciate all my subscribers. I want to appreciate all good information. I appreciate y'all for coming over here. Appreciate all the energy that y'all bring over here, people. Appreciate y'all helping out the first time buyer, the new people, the 2A community. Support your gun channels, your 2A channels. We need all the help we can, people. I appreciate the ones smash the like button, sharing on your favorite social media platform. Appreciate the ones who uh, pretty much um Follow me on gun streaming, TikTok, and everything. And a huge shout out to y'all that come over here every single day through the good and the bad and ups and downs. Nothing moves in straight line, people. You already know what time it is, people. You know what time it is. Guess what? It's ammo, ammo, ammo time, people. It's ammo time. Ammo is a new goal. Everybody's trying to get it and stuff, people. So right now, people, a lot of people's trying to buy ammo and stuff because of the headlines and stuff that they're seeing. But a lot of people's picking up this right here. They're buying the ammo cans. We're gonna talk about the ammo cans and stuff. So I'm getting a lot of questions and stuff about the ammo cans and stuff. And you know, hey, how much how much can you put in there? Can you fill it up? You know, how how many how much ammo can the ammo cans and stuff hold? But there are different sizes of ammo cans out there and stuff. But we're gonna go with this particular ammo can and stuff that you see at your Walmart and stuff like that. And we're gonna see how many rounds you can get in there and talk about it. So let's get into it. So we are talking about the ammo cans and stuff. And right now, a lot of people buying ammo cans uh, to my, you know, it was people, you know, comments and stuff. I read people saying, yeah, the ammo cans were selling out and stuff like that. And, you know, so since a lot of people buying the ammo cans, a lot of new people out there wondering, well, how much can I get in the ammo can? And so one thing that uh, a lot of the new people is going to do, they're going to put these um, factory boxes and stuff in the ammo can and stuff. And, um, you know, for ones who've been pretty much, um, you know, prepping their ammo and stuff and saving their ammo and stuff, you know, for long term storage and stuff like that. A lot of people would take them out of the factory box and put them in bags. You can get even more. So we're going to talk about this once we show with, when it comes to the factory box and bolt boxes or, you know, the 50 round packs and stuff like that. The 200 round boxes, you know, how much ammo you can put in there. So we're going to go over that. Then we're going to um, talk about that. So. Um, generally, these um, basically, you know, basic small ammo cans. Um, sometimes you can get like the 50 caliber ammo cans, 30 caliber ammo cans, and stuff out there. And you know, the ones you can get at the gun show and stuff. And you know, basic size. I'm talking about this is one from Walmart, the tough stuff um, ammo can and everything. And so we have right here um, some hundreds of rounds. So we're gonna count and see how many rounds we can put in here. So these are the 200 round bolt pack. Now, if you have a 100 round bolt pack, you could probably get it's a little bit different. So these 200 rounds. So this is 200 rounds. This is uh, 400 rounds. And this is 600 rounds. So we got 600 rounds of nine millimeter in here already. Um, you can see how much space that you have in here. It's not a whole lot of space. That's something that you're gonna deal with when it comes to factory boxes and stuff. Um, you, you can use uh, some even bigger containers. They have even bigger ammo cans and stuff I've seen out there. And so here go 50 rounds here, nine millimeter. We're gonna put that down in there. So now we had um, we had 650, and then here go another 50 rounds. So now we're at 700 rounds. So we have 700 rounds of ammo in here, and this is what it's gonna look like. And when it, this is the problem you run into when you use the factory box and stuff. Now we break this down and put it in like Ziploc bags and stuff like that. I'm quite sure I can probably get easily. 12, 1400 rounds on up in here, um, you know, by putting them in bags and stuff. So that is uh, one way a lot of people, you know, use the ammo cans. So some people just, you know, take them out of the box and pour the loose rounds in there. You can get a lot of them in there then, um, cause you're really not taking a whole lot of space. You're just using the bullets and then and stuff like that. So um, that is pretty much the, the most um, first way that a lot of people start using the ammo cans. They start putting the factory boxes and stuff in here. Then once they put them in there, they label and stuff like that. This is 700 rounds, nine millimeter, whatever you got, Federal, Winchester, whatever the case may be, Blazer Brass and so on and so on. But you know, when it comes to the ammo cans, people, you're gonna need a, need a lot of them pretty much. Um, you probably want to get you on an average four to five D cans, especially if you're gonna use factory boxes and stuff like that. And then you got a whole lot of different ammo you can get five or six of these cans and then just put loose rounds in them and you can store them that way. Um, just make sure when you buy them, make sure people you check the seals and stuff, make sure the, the seals and stuff around it is pretty good. You know, you don't see nothing, nothing that's pretty much um, broken or, 
or pretty much braids or something around there and stuff like that so you won't get no air and water and stuff in there so you can get a good seal um, when you close it up and stuff like that but um when it comes to the ammo cans people um they are selling like fire out there i'm telling you <laughs> they, they there's a buying frenzy for the ammo cans and stuff so a lot of people really you know and you can use the ammo i've seen people get very decorated with the ammo cans using them for all kinds of stuff and everything so like i said they're very cheap people um your academies your dunham's um your cabela's uh, to my your walmart uh, like I said, I went to another Walmart and I haven't, I didn't see no more ammo cans. People done snatched them up. You also have the plastic ones and stuff like that and everything. So I just kind of want to get into the ammo cans because I got a lot of questions about, you know, how many rounds can I get in the ammo cans and stuff. And you see that they're very limited how much you can get in there, especially when you're using the factory ammo box and stuff like that. But there's many other ways that you can just break the ammo down to get a whole lot more in it. They're very solid. Uh, if you drop it or something like that, I'm to my guess what it's not going to crack now the plastic ones it has some downside to it because you start getting a lot of weight in the plastic ones and if they drop but i use them i'm talking about they're fine but as far as moving around and stuff like that being very portable you got to be kind of careful and stuff with them because it can bend and stuff water can get into it and stuff like that so there's still ammo cans are pretty much selling like fire people trying to get them right now so um even though there's not a lot of ammo out there for people to get in a lot of these places they're still getting them and everything so um if you're looking to get ammo cans people go and get them because they're selling and stuff so don't wait for the headlines to get this type of stuff and everything because people can price a gouge on the ammo cans and i'm already starting to see that at one of my local gun shops and stuff and so they kind of raised a little bit prices of a couple of dollars and stuff like that so on the average, they're running from five bucks, six, seven bucks at Walmart to around fourteen dollars, something like that, maybe fifteen. But now I've seen people kind of raising the prices because everybody trying to get them and stuff like that. So you got to watch out for that stuff, people. So and also I'm talking about when you fill up the ammo can, this is seven hundred rounds, people. Um, just want to throw this in. This is seven hundred rounds we have in here. And guess what? Um, it's not light, people. I'm talking about this ammo can. Probably weigh about a little over 30 pounds right now. 25 to 30 pounds probably or more. Just having these 700, this 700 rounds and stuff in it. So that's something you got to think about weight when you're transporting these things and everything. So kind of want to throw that in and stuff like that. So um, this is DC Channel Guns and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.